For this question, we want to find and simplify the difference quotient for f of x plus h minus f of x over h for h not equal to 0 for this given function f of x equals 1 over x. So to find the difference quotient, we're going to find this first part, this first expression within the difference quotient, and that's f of x plus h. So we're going to find f of x plus h. And to find that, we want to replace the x in this expression with x plus h. So that becomes 1 over x plus h. Then we want to find the whole numerator, f of x plus h minus f of x. We're finding this whole numerator. So we've already found f of x plus h, and that's 1 over x plus h. We're going to subtract f of x, and f of x is our given function. We're going to subtract 1 over x. And this is our whole numerator of the difference quotient. So then finally, we want to find the whole difference quotient, which is f of x plus h minus f of x over h. We've already got the whole numerator. Let me move up here. That's 1 over x plus h minus 1 over x, and then over h. And this is our difference quotient. We want to simplify this. And we call this type of expression a complex fraction. That's when you have a fraction inside of a fraction. And to simplify this, we're going to use something called clearing fractions. Now when you use clearing fractions, you look for the least common multiple of the denominators of your smaller fractions. So I'm going to write h as h over 1, and we're looking for the least common multiple of these denominators. And that least common multiple is the product of each one of those factors. So the least common multiple will be 1 times x times x plus h, which simplifies to be x times x plus h. So that's our least common multiple. And once we find that least common multiple, we're going to multiply it by the numerator and denominator of our big fraction. So we're multiplying times x times x plus h and x times x plus h. We're allowed to do that because as long as we do the same thing to the numerator and denominator, multiply by the same number on the numerator and denominator, we're multiplying by a form of 1. And 1 times anything stays the same. So once we multiply this by both the numerator and denominator, we're going to use the distributive property. So I'm going to take this expression and multiply it times the first term and the second term. And in the denominator, we only have one term, so we're just going to multiply it times that 1h. Now when I apply that distributive property in the numerator, I'll have x times x plus h over x plus h. When you multiply fractions, you multiply numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. So we're imagining that this expression, x times x plus h, is over 1. And so 1 times x plus h get, keeps that denominator as x plus h. And we're going to do the same thing for this second term. And that's going to give us x times x plus h over x. And in the denominator, we're not going to use the distributive property. I'm going to leave this in factored form. 
that's h times x times x plus h. Now this next step is where the clearing fractions method gets its name because we have some common factors here, x plus h canceling out and x canceling out. So by multiplying by the least common multiple of the denominators, we're canceling out those denominators or clearing the fractions from the expression. So what we have left is x minus, in parentheses, x plus h. Those parentheses are important because that minus sign needs to apply to both terms in the parentheses. And in the denominator, we have x times x, excuse me, h times x times x plus h. Now in the numerator, I'll use the distributive property to get x minus x minus h over h times x times x minus x plus h, x minus x is 0. So in the numerator, I'm left with negative h over h times x times x plus h. The h's cancel, and we're left with negative 1 over x times x plus h. And that's as far as we're going to simplify this difference quotient. So what we found is that the difference quotient for f of x equals 1 over x, that difference quotient of f of x plus h minus f of x over h is negative 1 over x times x plus h. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.